Hannah Groon speaking. Hi, Hannah. Hi, Hi Nancy. I met Rose's handyman, Charlie. He seems nice. Rose told me he's a fine young fellow, but a little rough around the edges. I believe she said he's studying history at a community college. Has Rose said anything about him and the accidents? Nothing particular. I know she's concerned that Charlie may have inadvertently caused some of them, but she doesn't <laughs> think it's intentional. No, I wouldn't let you, you talk. Rose has a resident expert on Victorians. Oh yes, Rose has mentioned Lewis several times. She's really fond of him and is very grateful for his help. Oh, is there more between them than what I'm seeing? Oh no, they're not dating or anything. But I can tell Rose likes him very much. Have you heard about the seance Abby hosted for Rose and me? Seance? Good heavens! Has Rose ever mentioned someone by the name of Valdez? No, she never mentioned the name. Abby faked the seance. She rigged a table with a projector. Well, you didn't think it was for real, did you? <laughs> Don't worry, Rose, about this. She has enough on her mind already. I just can't imagine why Abby would go to all that trouble. I just found a hidden attic. I wonder if it has anything to do with all these accidents. Hmm, perhaps it does. Nancy, keep this a secret until you get to the bottom of these strange events. Don't even tell Rose. Okay, well, that's what she everyone works. knows. The more you can investigate without creating suspicion. I should get back to work. Goodbye. Don't work too hard. Why do I have to do the area code? I have no idea. I don't know why they even make you do it. Why they're so speed dial. This is Bess. And George. Hello, you two. Hi, Nancy. How are you? Listen to this. I found a secret huh? attic and an old desk. It looks like no one's been in there for years. There's probably a lot of clues about the house in there. Oh, what was in the desk? I found some letters written by E. Valdez. I guess he was the owner of a hotel named the Golden Gardenia. Valdez! Golden Gardenias? I thought they were all white. That's it! Don't you see? The hotel has gold hidden in it, and Valdez is watching over it. I don't think so, Bess. <laughs> Can you guys give me a clue? I'm not sure what to do next. If there's a hidden message in the music, then only music can decode it. Can I ask them again? Can you guys give me a clue? I'm not sure what to do next. If there's a hidden message okay. in the music, <laughs> then only music can decode it. Okay, so, see, the, it is a decoder. You are literally the biggest hater to ever live. Don't call Emily. I don't want to listen to her. I don't even remember who Emily is. Okay, so what do we do with this decoder then? Let's go to the attic. Because every time I'm right about something, you try to convince me that I'm wrong. It's locked. Baby head freaks me out every time. Wow. Hmm. Wow. This might not be the code name. F and D. Find. Oh. <laughs> Find. Stairs. Diego on stairs. Going on stairs, okay. No decoder, definitely the wire piano. Okay, so how do I find Diego on stairs? Just main stairs and look at the stairs. It's stuck. Why are you better at this than I am? Because I'm not an idiot.
false story. Okay, we did it. <sighs> Wait, I can't read it. <clears throat> Do you have waited so, so long for your return but have kept our treasure true? Here is the tool I need to find it. May your un may your rainbow and never <laughs> run out of luck. Oh, it is rainbow. Here. Stars and moon will shine on you as you begin your quest. Move so the night. Like a night upon. I don't know. Too quickly. Pass the test. Take yeah, care to, to keep, keep your, your path, path into check. Oh, so maybe in the crawl space. We yeah. Move like a knight. Move like a knight. Let me see the sun return to claim. It's bright for order. Upon. Where are you reading that? Move like a knight upon. R A N thing. Mm. Yeah, whatever. Well, well, that's the most important part. You have to say whatever. Move like a knight upon that's a... his horse. Yes. Okay. Where do I go? Like, I don't know where that would go to. That looks like a Chinese character. Well, yeah, I know that. Can I read that one? No. <laughs> oh, we have to move like a knight somewhere. During the night. During the night? It said while you're under the stars. So let's look for like a dragon or something first, I guess. Hello, Nancy. Do you think Charlie is doing a good job? Certainly. He's rough around the edges, but he's reliable and learns Our very quickly. Clothing. He's just what Rose and I need. Did Lizzie ever wear men's clothing? <laughs> I'm sure she played some roles where she had to dress as a man, but she was quite an elegant woman, quite fashionable for her time. I won't keep you any longer. Nice to see you again. You know how a name goes, right? Yes. What did the rest of the thing say? Rest of it, so. You didn't read it? Renovation. See you around. I don't know. It's stuff. Texting my mom. When does he leave again? Whoa. Okay, well, it's someone in there. <laughs> Am 
not scared of that anymore. <laughs> Are you sure? Are you sure? Yes, just go. It's stuck. Go for It's so dark in here. Okay, so go forward too. I'm guessing if this, yeah, one, two. I can't see where I'm going. No, you push twice. <laughs> that was the second click. Okay, well then let's go one because uh, I don't know what counts as the first. But we might need a flashlight still. Yeah, there's nothing in there. I just want to know where I can get a flashlight. In there. I just want a flashlight. I know. It's so dark oh, in here. I can't see where I'm going. It looks like it's just one. Okay, so we'll get a flashlight first. Where do we get a flashlight? Let's read. some way and knowing what it says instead of clicking off of it immediately would be uh, useful. You know what would really help? Um, if it was legible at all. We could read it, you just went away from it for no reason. see the sun return to claim its rightful order. Don't look it up yet. We've only been doing it for two minutes. I want to look up if there's a flashlight. Why? You're going to ruin it. Just don't. You don't need to look it up. We've been on it for two seconds. Don't look it up. Stars and moon will shine on you as you pick this horse quickly pass the test. So let's look for a place with stars and moons. Okay. And stop looking at the answer. Care to keep your path in check along the outside border. Along you may see the For you may see the sun return to claim its You look it up. Maybe. Why? I want to know what to do next. Well, I want to try without knowing. Why you have to cheat? Because we would be stuck here forever. What? What are you thinking of doing next? I don't know yet. I want to look around. Oh. I 
I talked to everybody in the house, and none of them can figure out what caused the fire. Maybe I should take Lewis's advice and cut my losses before it's too late. What advice? He has a client who might want to buy the place. Mm -hmm. Someone with more experience and money to finish all of the renovations. What do the fire department say? They think the fire was caused by sparks from the fireplace, since it doesn't have a screen. And I specifically told Charlie to buy one. How could he have forgotten? No, Jeez. I am bound and determined to stick with this house no matter what. Nothing can drive me away. I don't care if it's fires, earthquakes, or Mr. Valdez with his gang of ghosts. Excuse me for prying, but why did you spend so much money to insure the house against fire? For protection. I've put my entire life savings into this house, and if it goes up in smoke, I'll lose everything. I can see you're busy. I'll let you go. Bye. Bye. I think I should wait till he's gone. I have to sleep. And I should wait until I'm alone. We haven't really cheated at all. Just gotta take your time. How is the game fun? It's a puzzle game, and you look up the answers to the I puzzles. I just wanted to see where the tiles were. That's all. That's not done. what you wanted to look at. No, it's not, but that's what I ended up looking up. Eight, seven is good. Let's go nine. There's one that I'm saving for you to be completely in control of because I'm too scared to play. So you'll have that one, honey. I mean, this is already going, I mean, you know, it's already going a lot better than the last one, so it, it can only go up from here. I 
if there's something else I should be able to look at with this. I guess it's just telling you what the symbol for child is. Music is freaking you. I'm gonna do a, a second a save quick. <laughs> Good idea. Couldn't just jump over the thing. Oh, we can use the floppy disk on his computer. That said, instead of not reading it's an anything. outline, really. So, the envelope repeat, and it's what go to the next page. Location of the stolen gold, Valdez, family ranch. Connection to oral history. Okay, Valdez owned the hotel, yes. which is this house. Yes. So, someone thinks the gold is yes, here, and I it's understand. good. 